Where can you find authentic Cajun food in downtown Rapid City? We're at Jam Bones 2 at 516 7th Street. Let's check it out. As a busy realtor in Rapid City, I'm constantly out and about eating at all the restaurants around town. I want to share my favorite spots in downtown with you. I'm Matt Seffner with Seffner Realty, and this is Downtown Big. Hey, what's up, Jared? Hey, Matt, how are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Awesome. Hey, thanks for having us today. Yeah, no problem. It's always good to have new people in. I understand this might be your first time being here. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. This is the first time I've actually been to Jambones. I've never tried your food but I've heard amazing things about it and I'm excited to check it out. So tell us a little bit about the place. This location itself has been open for a little over a year. There is a second location which is in Sturgis and Cherie's been in the area for about 30 years now. Finally found a great location. I mean, everything's authentic, all this yeah. stuff in here. This is all from her private collection. That's great. So, and she thought, you know, it's about time to get some extra culture in here. So she decided to open up a Cajun restaurant. And I guess all the recipes are authentic from her family is what you're telling yeah. me really? So, Cherie is originally from DeRitter, Louisiana. So it's all family, homemade, fresh made every day. So like everything from the gumbo, the collard greens, even the peach cobbler, like wow. it's all homemade. You can't beat that. So. Nice, well, I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We are going to do a soul food platter. It's probably the best thing to get if you've never been here before. Okay. It's got a little bit of everything, including catfish, ribs, gumbo, red beans and rice, and then your choice of green, which I think we're gonna do collard greens today because it's all homemade and you can't beat homemade food. Love it. So we're gonna start with the catfish and our breading that we use is a mixture between flour, cornmeal, some Creole seasoning and black pepper. So that way it kind of gives it a little bit of zest to it but it's not too spicy. And we actually get our fish from Louisiana and they're actually farm fish. We're gonna throw it in the fryer. So while he's getting that going, we're also gonna get started on some ribs. So our ribs are actually smoked in house as well. We do those every day. And with our soul food platter, you're gonna get three rib bones. And as you can see, these babies are meaty. Very delicious. So we're gonna steam those bad boys up. Now Corey's gonna get the setup for the rest of the soul food platter, which is going to include rice. And then we're gonna throw some red beans over it. We're also gonna have some gumbo. And then we're also gonna get the collard greens in there. And you know, that's got the best ingredient of all, bacon grease and butter. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's all family recipes, so I'm not allowed to know what's in them. You got the three bones, and then the catfish is coming right over, and voila, we got yourself a soul food platter. This looks so good. It's obviously uh, a little bit too much food for me. I don't think I'll be able to handle it all, but <laughs> seriously, I can't wait to check it out. Oh yeah, can't beat homemade food. So we're gonna make a gator blood. This is a spicy Southern style Bloody Mary, and of course, Gotta get a nice, good layer of salt. Gonna get some ice in here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have real vodka. This is a wine base. So instead of doing a regular shot, we're gonna do about two ounces in there, just so you get your liquor's worth. A little bit of Worcestershire. Nelson's Bloody Mary mix. And of course, a little bit of tomato juice. Some Tabasco. Spice it up a little bit. That's why it's called Gator's Blood. We're just gonna shake this back. And then next, a shrimp dusted with Cajun seasoning, celery, lime, lemon squeeze. Next, we're gonna get a pickle and we're gonna throw some olives on there and a peppuccini. Voila, we have the Gator Blood. All right, so obviously this is a ton of food. I don't even know where to start, but I think the best thing to do is uh, probably check out the catfish. Oh man, super flaky, cooked absolutely perfect. Check out these ribs. Perfectly not overcooked, really, really good. There's truly nowhere else in town we're gonna get amazing fresh catfish like this, especially with all these extra added flavors that come with it. I want to thank our sponsors, Affiliated Mortgage and Destination Rapid City. Like and share this video so that others can find out about this great location. I'm Matt Seffner, Seffner Realty. This is Downtown Digs. We'll see you next time.